Do you think that your your hours on the road with marathons, your hours in the bush with the Kokoda, all the training you've done since you were a child, coming up through the ranks, learning how to operate your machine, your body, your chair in a way that can, you can propel you forward at speeds to, to, to allow you to win gold, all those type of things, those hard-fought battles. Do you think this is your next battle? Employment? Oh, look, if I could do... I feel like there's so many, so many battles. What out are you there. doing? What are you doing now? Now, uh, man, uh, lots of stuff. So, I think that if I could choose one direction that I would go, one, uh, it's so hard. <laughs> it would be educating disability abroad. Okay. Because that is, uh, you know, that is just there. The, it, it is a brutal reality, and there are hard realities over here. And like I was saying, but we need Australia to take on them fights. We need everyone to keep fight in that. Um, some of the most meaningful parts that I've had is when you land at a place where a person, a kid with a disability, has never seen another person with a disability with any sort of power or choice in their mm. life. And you can go in there and you can fight and, and you can see change happen pretty quickly. Uh, last April, I took my mum over to a slum in Africa. We're in a school, met two kids using a wheelchair that was donated at school. They don't have wheelchairs at home. They got in the school and they're being pushed around. And I got told when I was 13 by, uh, I think it was Michael Callahan, when I came out of the bush, he said to me, cut those handles off your wheelchair, get rid of those brakes, you choose where you go. You don't <laughs> let anyone, you don't let anyone push you. You know, you choose how to go, where to go and when to stop. And these kids were being pushed around and I, I had a yarn to them and I was like, you don't let, you don't let no one push you. You know, I need you to be strong. Yeah. And then the end of the week, these kids were, whenever uh, uh, one of their classmates would grab the wheelchair and push them, they'd turn around and hit their arms away. You know, like ah. that, that little kid then yeah. just learnt that he's strong. He's stronger than he was last week. Yeah. You know, like that, that I, um, if I could do that role full time, I, I would definitely. How can you turn that into a full time role? I won't. You won't like, I, know you, I know you've got a family, you've got kids, you've yeah, got everything I, I going would. on. So, so we, what, I, what I do, I, se I separate life. I separate life that I will spend at least, I'm going back there in April, and I make sure that, that when I do that stuff, it's with my entire family. To Africa? Yeah. 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 So I've, set a, I've, I've got a centre now that's called the Curb Family Centre. We've got 75 kids with disabilities in it within, uh, within the uh, uh, Makuru slum in, in uh, Nairobi. And I take my mum there, my wife there, so that the whole community, you see a guy in a wheelchair that has a non-disabled wife whose mother comes over because it started, we got, we had eight mums looking for some help, you know, like the mum, like the mum that I'm talking about in, you know, in Australia that just needs a hand because these mums are carrying their kid with disability on their back, left on their own. So started with the mother support unit. Um, Eight, then it started with eight kids. Now it's 75 kids. Oh, I took my mum over there this last year. Uh, this year I'll go back on my own. Next year I'm going back with my boy. He'll be six. He'll go through the school. Of course, it's a mainstream school as well. Really? It's a, it's a, it's a, 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 a resource centre or a centre to, to bring people with disabilities in, in the heart of the school. Um, and they are able to access occupational therapy. They are able to get their disability assessed. But then we are able to actually integrate the kids. So mm. where possible, um, my two boys in wheelchairs, the names are John and Peter, they're integrated into mainstream classes. Um, so I will spend at least a week, two weeks, a year, every year in and out of that school. Where possible, I'll try and make a second at some point in time, somewhere where I find the right facility and the right, the right environment that it's going to work. Um, but I will sink a bit of work into the employment space because we do need more. We need that story that's working in Perth. We need that everywhere. Mm. We don't just need it in the hospitality industry. We need it in the we need it in the finance industry. People, you don't know how many rooms I've gone into where they say it wouldn't work here, and then you get a person with a disability in there, nailing it. Yeah. Um, so I will. Part of my life is about talking about that story, the success of it, and, and hopefully encouraging that to grow. Um, I do a bit of work in kids, uh, with kids around self-image and, and pride and uh, recognising that, 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 that thing inside you 
you own that, you know, like the, 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 I went into juvenile justice a couple of months ago and you go in there, whatever's happened before here, like nobody, not even that past event, nobody gets to tell you who you are. Mm. You own it. You can find something positive out of what is a fucking pretty shit situation. Like they're doing six months through one of the kids is doing 30 years in there. Right? So they were even into just local welfare, uh, like uh, support units. And so my life is split. Mm. You know, I'm going to work with kids. I'm going to work with kids abroad. My own work is, uh, I'm a, I am a high school teacher, but my own work is also in sport, uh, sports governance, to making sure that we do get sport, give access to sport to as many people as we possibly can, and also into... Um, into uh, talking to businesses about culture and support networks and uh, all that. Mm. So I'm doing 